Now, uh, today you are not going to learn something about specific about a topic or a chapter or something. It's just a few important points that I would like to share with you. Know? Many times I've seen like people who've been scanning for a long time, they've learned by their own or I don't know from uh, some other place or uh, uh, by standing behind somebody. They have a very wrong concept about the basic part of scanning. And many times they face difficulty because of that, because they are not knowing the basics, you know, the basic adjustments of the machine, the basic orientation of the picture. Sometimes uh, the surgeon students in my sessions, they used to tell that the case was reported as a right ovarian cyst and when we opened it turned out to be a left ovarian cyst. The reason is that people are not oriented to the image. That becomes very important. Why? Because if your image orientation is wrong, you will interpret things wrong. Second thing is, why you will uh, why do you uh, interpret the images wrong because you don't know how to focus them properly and that is one major issue that people face then second thing they are not aware about the machine knobs the settings the adjustments of the machine how they should adjust how to make the picture you know you many times you must have noticed that you see somebody else doing the scan and you feel oh the pictures are so good why my pictures are not coming so good because you are not aware of the basics you are not knowing how to adjust the things in the machine you are not aware of the knobs in the machine and these are the things that lead to confusion so the the prime thing is that you should be having a good concept of the basic things in ultrasonography and then you can build up upon that whenever you will have wrong concepts that will lead to wrong perceptions you will make wrong diagnosis because you are not aware so the most important thing is that whenever you are learning you should learn it the right way do it the right way you may say or you may uh, many times you know people they used to argue with me in the class no we do it this way we are very comfortable doing it this way why should we change you should change because you are doing it the wrong way if you will just look at the pictures in the books or uh, in the standard uh, videos or any uh, standard place you will notice they have a particular fixed format you know they are not like haphazard pictures so you should be aware that how you should do the scanning and how you should get good images because see ultrasound is all about imaging if your images are not good you will not interpret them well second part of ultrasonography mm -hmm. definitely is clinical correlation that yes mm -hmm. you should be able to clinically correlate things with the pictures otherwise an ultrasound picture may have many diagnoses you have one diagnosis uh, the clinician has one diagnosis in mind and you put 10 more in his mind because you added query this query this double query this triple query this Right, so whenever you're doing the scan, clinical correlation is very important for you to arrive at a diagnosis. And all these things you should learn in a proper manner, how to do the things. Right, now I'll just give you a few examples to actually elaborate what I'm trying to say. Now see this picture. This is a picture of the uterus, right? And this is the bladder. This is the uterine side, this is vagina, this is cervix. Now what is wrong about this picture? You would say everything is seen, no? I can see the uterus, I can see the endometrium, I can see the cervix, I can see the vagina. So why, why this picture is wrong? The orientation of the picture is wrong. Have you ever seen this kind of a picture in any standard textbook? How do you see the orientation of the uterus in the textbooks or any other place which is a standard uh, area? How would you see it? The fundus is on the right side of the screen, the cervix again here and the vagina is on the left side of the screen. That is how you have to focus. Superior things should come on right side of the screen and inferior things should come on left side of the screen. This will make your picture more clear. So whenever you are doing the scan, you are aware that yes. Why? Because see, when you are putting the probe longitudinally the superior things should come on right side and inferior things should come on left side that is the proper way of doing it that is why that now what will be the confusion if you are used to doing this way the confusion would be when you look at the pictures in the books you look at the pictures in other uh, standard scans what would you notice the picture is different so you would get confused that how how the things are there so always learn it a proper way right then i show you a second picture now see just to, I'm just telling you the basics, how basics are important. I'm not going into details. I'm just telling you why basics are important. Now, these are two pictures. 
this patient she had come with pain little bit mild pain she was telling in the lower abdomen we scanned the patient and just to show you i have put up two pictures now in these two pictures nothing has been changed the machine is the same the probe is the same everything is the same except that we have changed the gains we have changed the gains now if you just look at here no, the, the bladder looks grayish while here the bladder is looking almost black clear as it should be this is not the right way what is it telling you the gains are high here the gains should be like this now see what blunder would have would has been created by high gains when the gains are kept high look at this area do you find anything abnormal here no nothing everything looks fine everything is okay but let us see here when i reduce the gains what did i see there is a tubular longitudinal area here there is a white area here there is a shadow coming here which is what this is dilated ureter calculus and there is a shadow caused by the calculus so this was a vesico ureteric junction calculus which could which could have been missed if the gain setting has not been done properly right so this is just to put you uh, put it into your mind that basic concepts are very important and you should learn in a proper manner when you are doing scan now let us see this one another example just to give you i want to study something in the kidney and see the kidney here and see the kidney here which one would you prefer this one or this one if you want to study the kidney obviously this would be a better picture to see right something looks suspicious here which we are not seeing here so we might miss on a diagnosis why simply because we did not keep the depth proper your depth should be optimum what is optimum depth optimum depth is when you just see your area of interest and little area beyond it right so this is a better picture to evaluate the kidney rather than this one right? many times i notice you no know, my uh, like people just focus and send me a picture or something when they are learning initially when they are new they are not aware what i notice is that the tvs has been done and they have focused the fetal node fetal node is just occupying a small area here over the screen and rest all is uterus then bowel loops and then useless things my and then they ask whether the pulsations are there or not now to see the pulsations what you should have done you should have focused primarily on the fetal node the screen should primarily be seeing the fetal node so that you can see the pulsations well what you have done you have kept the depth so much that everything is getting included rather than only the area of interest so depth manipulation gain manipulation uh, focusing orientation everything becomes very important when you are doing scan no it is not that haphazardly you just search around here and there a proper protocol is there for every scan you no know, how to do a gynecologic scan how to do an obstetric scan how to do a an abdominal scan you should have follow a proper protocol i'll give you one more example you know one of uh, the fellows when she had just come and joined us i told her to scan then i will come and see so that i can see what she has done she did the whole scan and then she missed on oligoamnios and the reason she did not follow the protocol you know there should be a proper protocol which we have like we have a protocol for our own institution that this is the way an obstetric scan should be done you now immediately people jump to the fetus before you go to the fetus you should look at other things otherwise you know what happens you get so much involved with the fetus that you forget the accessory things the fluid the placenta everything you have to go systematically one by one not haphazardly right so everything should be done with a protocol right so this is just to uh, give you an insight that whenever you are going to learn or whenever you are going to do a scan you should always be aware of the basic things you should always be aware that how i have to do it how should i approach what is the image orientation how should i adjust the machine no gain settings will be different for different patients depth settings will be different for different patients right similarly there are many other parameters in the machine which will require manipulation with from patient to patient so you have to be aware of all these things before you jump on to doing a proper scan 
So the primary thing is that build your concepts well, build your basics well and then move on further. Thank you.